Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching on this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Raila Odinga announced that 20th of March this year is going to be a mass action procession to State House. We have only two days. And the Ruto was given enough chance to do something. He did nothing. There was an ultimatum of 14 days, nothing happened. And from the day I announced that we will have super mass massive action, it has been a period, it is going to be a period of up to, I think, nine days. Still within this gap, Ruto is doing little to solve the problem. And Raila had mentioned several things. This government is silent. Some time Guni has come out to expose what William Samai Ruto might do at the end of the day and how Raila Monodinga is strategically leading William Ruto into his trap. So this could be a warning Mutai Nguni indirectly is giving to William Samwehe Ruto in one way or another. Just to explain that situation. Now, let us go through Mutai Nguni's tweet and then from there we are going to continue to comment on it. Baberman has 50 years of experience in nuisance politics. Ruto is of a choleric temper and easy to irritate. Baberman will irritate Ruto until he snaps. The Raila, then Raila will dare him to do what he does when he gets annoyed. 20th of March is just the beginning. By the way, when Raila Odinga announced that 20th is going to be a mass action, the truth is that that mass action will not just take one day. It might just be a beginning and it will be, maybe it will turn out to be a long fight which will end up then bringing that solution that is needed. So that one has to be clear, the way I'm telling you, say, 20th is just the beginning. And they might begin slowly, but then cut up and then it turn up into a nightmare for William Ruto. Now, what is sometimes we saying here? Before we continue, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our return subscribers. I say thank you so much and again to all our viewers. Please give this video a thumbs up. Nguni is saying that Raila Odinga has 50 years of experience, of course, in nuisance politics. You know, nuisance politics, you know, you, you know, like Raila Odinga has mastered the art of annoying his opponent. That is the message from time. He understands how he can annoy his opponent, then trap him. And then Raila also understand that William Ruto is a man of choleric temper. A man of bad temper. And I remember one day we analyzed here during the campaign that voting for William Ruto will be a mistake because Ruto is a man who can take decision depending on emotion. When he get angry, he make a bad decision. And you know when someone is angry, he can never make a good decision. So Raila Odinga is going to continuously irritate William Samai Ruto until he snaps. And you know, you just break suddenly and completely you make a decision just quickly because you have been irritated. So Ruto will be uh, heading into a trap. And by the way, it's like even Ruto has already decided because he's telling Raina Molo Dinga, you try. You see, he's heading in that direction. And there is something Raila has told William Ruto and Gashagwa. Let me just quote him for you to understand what I'm trying when he's talking about. Even if you assassinate me, my spirit will live on. I am ready to pay the ultimate price 
for Kenyans. Look at it. It might look like somehow humble, but then this is a firm respond, which seemingly it is siding with the common manage. So already Raila, in one way or another, he is whipping the emotion of Kenyans. That alone is going to make Kenyans to sympathize with Raila Monodinga. And Raila will continue to respond to William Ruto directly to make him more annoyed. And the, the big question we will be asking ourselves here, what does Ruto normally do when he gets annoyed? So that was what I'm talking, what he's talking about. What can he do? And what has he been able to do? For those who have been following his politics, you can understand what many people have talked about, what they have accused him about. Now he is the president. What do you think Ruto can do? If there will be mass action in this country, Ruto might end up acting on emotion, just like that. Acting on emotion means he gets angry, and then you might order police to deal with those people who are demonstrating. Assume that Raila has called for this mass action, then it might like to attract just even 300 Let's say even just 10,000 people to see the body sana. Five to 10,000 people. This is a huge crowd. And then you assume that police officers is, are coming to dispatch such crowd through canisters, tear gas, and they end up even now. What's the bigger what matters? Us? Tell me the kind of stampede can be there. Tell me. The number of people who might lose their life if Ruto can go that direction. Then you tell me if really Ruto will continue to sit in that house and lead this country. It will be ungovernable. It's going to be ungovernable. Or Ruto might utter some words which might end up dividing this country even more bad. Leave not taking action of even just ordering the officers to deal with the people mercilessly. In, uh, in in humane way, he will come out with this statement, which will turn out to be so much divisive in the country. Then you end up dividing then the country so much bad. So, Mtaenguni is telling William Samuel Ruto, "You are a man of temper, and Raila Odinga understands your weakness. He might use your weakness as a tool to destroy you." Politically, then you end up losing this battle completely. That is the message here. And you see, the way they are responding, just go and check on regarding the shepherds respond. We have analyzed. He talked like he's not a deputy president. Look on how William Ruto is taking things casual. And now, to prove Mutai Nguyen's point here, we have people who have been, including William Ruto supporters, they have been telling Kenyans that Ruto, Sio Uhuru, that the William Ruto we have is more dangerous compared to Uhuru. That Uhuru entertained Raila Molo Dinga. Ruto will not entertain. So Ruto is not a Uhuru. What are they saying? That do we have a dictator who acts on emotion? And Ruto is yet to reprimand them. That means he's in agreement with them. So he's agreeing that he's a dictator. A dictator who will act on emotion. Or what are they telling Kenyans? Because they have been heard very clear saying that Huyo Sio Uhuru. Na Huyo Sio Kibaki. Huyo ni William Samway Ruto. So that is the situation now. <laughs> and you know what Ruto does not understand is that Kenyans are not comfortable when William Ruto is responding to Raila Odinga in fact they get more angry people are just irritated with Ruto's response to Raila Odinga they expect Ruto to take action on sorting out those problems Raila is mentioning so I don't know William Ruto why are you responding to Raila Odinga you need to solve the problem why are you not working when responding to Raila Odinga so Ruto would want to respond to each and everything. 
then it end up destroying the country. The question will be, if the country become ungovernable, who will have the biggest problem? Is it Raila or Ruto? How will he collect taxes to run this country? How will he bring this country together again one more day? He might end up going in our history books as the man who divided this country. And that will be his legacy. So he has to tread carefully to understand the position he's holding. It's a position that is supposed to bring unity, instead it's bringing division. Division is coming in because he cannot listen and sit back before answering. He wants to immediately respond. But he has left Kenyans in a big, big problem. That's why Kenyans are in support of Raina and in fight with William Ruto. Even those who voted for him, they are now crying. They don't want to hear Ruto responding to Raila. They just want to see Ruto taking action in terms of sorting out the problem. Just like in Chikishaku and Governor where do you collect taxes? How will you pay salaries? How will you run this country? Ruto is a mess. And yes, he's just going to that trap. Labda atapiga watu madisasi, ikue mbaya. Kama siwa hivo, inchi pia ata itamushinda kugovern. And you know, once we start doing some things here, which uh, is against the human rights, you might find yourself somewhere in Hague. It was very hard for people to come back. They succeeded. But then you might just find yourself landing in that same court. The human justice court. So, that is the situation we are having now. People might be celebrating as of now they are forming government and they are in this government. But then it might end up becoming to be a curse for them. Because it might just end, the, end up costing them for holding to a government that they never got through the right way.